Number one, a Mexican woman's male family member will make sure she is okay every single time they see y'all together. I don't know what it is about protecting. I don't know what it is about being there for their little sister or their niece or their daughter. But a Mexican man is going to make sure you are treating their family member like a queen every single time. And they're going to do it right in front of you. Hey, hey, Brenda, you okay? And they're going to act like you ain't even there. Like, bro, Brenda with me, we absolutely fine. Nah, it looked like she was mad about something y'all pulled up and said, Brenda, are you okay? And they have a spider sense. Like, y'all going to be arguing at home with nobody around. That cell phone going to ring. Hey, Brenda, you need me to FaceTime you? Because I felt like you were arguing with Josh right now. Are you okay? Mexican men do not play about protecting their female family members. They will go to the grave. And even in their death, they'll come out their casket. Hey, Brenda. I know I'm dead and stuff. I've been dead for a week, but are you okay? Number two, if you are not ready to be loved unconditionally, don't ask a Mexican woman to love you. When we get in relationships, we often say stuff like, I love you so much. I love you more than anything. I love you more than life itself. If you ready to be loved like that, get you a Mexican woman. Because when they say they love you more than anything, brother, they love you more than anything. They will love you more than the air, the water. When you try to go somewhere, they going to love you forever. No matter who you are, you gain weight, you feel fat, you feel stank, you feel sloppy. They going to love you. If you end up looking like the dad from that TV show, the dinosaur they had one season, they going to love you. Why? I don't know. Who taught them how to love? I don't know. You can be in heaven at the pearly gates waiting to go in. All you going to hear is, hey, Josh. Hey, Josh, hold on, hold on right quick, Jesus. Huh? I love you, boy. I'm still living. I'm going to see you soon, though, because I love you. Man. Number three, you better recognize how good a Mexican woman can do her makeup. One of the things I noticed the most in watching all these Hispanic feature films is their makeup was so on point. And when I say contour to the T, I am telling you, I don't know if they come out the coochie contour in their face. And you better recognize, you better not let one Sunday, one quinceanera, one Sunday dinner, one boxing match go by where you don't say, baby, your makeup looks good. Please have my baby. But Josh, I'm pregnant right now. I don't care. Tell that baby to scoot over because another one finna come in. Number four, contrary to popular belief, all Mexican women ain't crazy and violent physically. They will mess with your mind, man. Now I know the stereotype. Hispanic women, Latino women are so crazy. They'll cut you, they'll stab you, they don't play. Have you really dealt with a Mexican woman? Do you understand the mind games that a Mexican woman can play with you without touching you? A Mexican woman will get up in the morning, put on her makeup, smell so good, put on some gray tight yoga pants, put on a white beater, put on some Nike shoes and walk outside, won't say nothing to you. You much rather be stabbed in your chest and a knife pulled across your body than to let that Mexican woman go out looking like good God on a Monday, knowing she ain't got nowhere to go and you confused all day. Now she answering her phone, she posted on Instagram, but she ain't posting where she at. She just posting a spoon with a drink, with a flower, and you don't even know no place in town that sells stuff like this at this time of the morning. You don't know where she went, because you know all her friends that work for real. You know what? I'm telling too much of my business. All I'm saying is Mexican women don't have to touch you to touch you. Trust me. And number five, Mexican women have some of the best love that you ever witnessed. Do you understand how passionate the Hispanic culture is? Do you understand how deep and how sensual the Hispanic culture is? Do you understand that round one equals round four for them? Do you understand that these ladies can put it down from night to morning, get up, cook, clean, take care of the kids, go to work, do their makeup, make sure everything is straight, tell their brothers that they okay, they ain't arguing, stay out their business, but then make you jealous if you get wrong. You do not want to mess up the opportunity to continue to get that Come on, la flor, come on, la flor, chicharon, chicharon. Because I watched so many Hispanic-based films, I just thought this video would be dope to make. And for all y'all out there that's experiencing what I just put out, hell to you, baby. Come on, la flor, come on, la flor, 